Hi friends, neurographic art is not just about creating beautiful pieces. It's also a powerful form of art therapy that promotes relaxation and mindfulness. If you feel guided to, get your art supplies ready and let's paint together. Starting from any edge of the paper, we take a few seconds to draw on continuous lines or shapes without judgment letting our hands take control wherever they wish to go. No drawing skills are needed as this art form is about relaxing our minds, unwinding and letting go of any worries. This technique involves creating flowing lines and patterns that evolve organically on the page. You can draw as little or as many lines as you like. Let's allow our intuition to guide our hands. I'm going to round off and soften each of the edges before coloring them. This process is fun and very relaxing to do. It's like creating a map of neuron connections on paper. Each time we round off the sharp edges, we are letting go of our challenges and our problems one by one and replacing them with a positive outcome. The artwork can be realistic or abstract, using a pen, pencil, paint, any medium of your choice. Today, I'll be using a Sharpie pen with watercolor painting. If you are using paint like me, you can choose to wait until the ink has completely dried before adding colors. Or maybe not. Maybe you want to blend and bleed the edges of your paint with the ink together to create a new texture. The choice is all up to you. There is no right or wrong. I also learned something new today. I just discovered that my watercolor paper has very hard sizing and that's why the paper is resisting my paint and it keeps bouncing my paint back off the paper. And maybe it's also the combination of my fingerprints on the paper which doesn't help. It's quite fascinating. I honestly wanted to do a soft wash for this painting style but I have to opt for a more vibrant color as the paint won't stick otherwise. In the future, I will submerge my paper in lukewarm water for a few seconds to help remove some of the sizing. But for now, I just have to adapt and keep going. Please let me know in the comment below if you know any other method to help relax the paper so it can absorb paint more easily. In our daily lives, stress and anxiety can take a toll on our mental well-being. Fortunately, art can be a wonderful tool to help us manage these overwhelming emotions.
The paint I use has high granulation. It's a very textural paint which I personally like. As we let go, our mind starts to relax. Sometimes we can also feel a sense of peace as we enter a meditative state of mind. Let's get lost in the world of art and mindfulness. You can stop the process here, but I just want to take it a step further and create additional textures for my painting. This method will work better if you also use hard-sized watercolor paper. I waited a few hours to make sure my paint was dry enough before attempting this. With a small pointed brush, wet the brush in the area we want to add texture. The therapeutic benefits of neurographic art can help reduce stress, increase focus, and foster a sense of calmness. Honestly, aside from my little mishaps of the paint not sticking to the paper as easily as I hope, I really enjoy this experience. From this point onwards, I will incorporate this painting session every once in a while to de-stress and recharge my mind. I encourage you to give it a try and experience the positive effects for yourself. For more contrast, ensure to only remove areas with a decent layer of paint. So, which painting do you like better? Textured or non-textured one? As always, Thank you for joining me today. Take care, my loves. Click here and I hope to see you in my next video.